Boy, if you can tell, this is the Ryan Dirty Show, the Ryan Dirty Podcast. We bridge the gap between hip hop and everyday life, bringing you what's next. Now, that's right, we're giving it to you before any station, any blog site, any any hip hop commentary. Before anybody brings you the people and tell the stories we tell, we do it to you first. Which means everybody else is just chasing. On our heels, all right? Again, your boy Vic XL, let's get it cracking. i like to start the show off by saying this very show that you're watching, whether you're listening to the replay on any of the streaming outlets like iTunes, like Spreaker, SoundCloud, MixCloud, whether you're listening to the replay on Beat Break Radio FM, whether you check us out on WRFG 89.3 FM, however you check out the Ryan Dirty Show, I definitely appreciate it, but definitely understand and know that the episodes that you are watching or listening to is brought to you by the good people over at Dr. Juice Cleanse. That's right. Dr. Juice Cleanse is an all-natural cleanser. All-natural cleanser that does all kind of amazing, great, wonderful things for your body, like slow down the aging process, like help relieve stress. They can also help you lose up to 25 pounds in 10 days. Also remove mucus and toxins from your body and help provide a balanced pH system. But you know what, Dr. Juice Cleanse does more than that. But what I want you to do is run over to drjuicecleanse.com, find out more about the product, and then become a drinker like me. And you can start feeling good, living long, and being healthier. All right? And when you check them out and you decide to make your purchase, Definitely tell them Vic XL and the Ryan Dirty Show sent you, and they will give you a nice, sizable discount. All right? Do that for you, boy. All right. Today is Tuesday, July the 17th, and as always, I definitely got to go down my list of birthdays and wish some celebrities that uh, helped me get through my days and months and years and weeks doing what they do, and I just got to wish them a happy birthday. I want to start off by saying happy birthday to director Mr. F. Gary Gray. F. Gary Gray has brought us great films like Set It Off, uh, like The Negotiator, just the name of a few, but I'd like to say happy birthday to him. He is 49 years old today. Also got to say happy birthday and rest in peace to legendary MC Guru, one half of the group Gangstar. If he was alive, he would be 56 years old today. Also got to say happy birthday to one half of the group PM Dawn, the DJ of the group JC the Eternal. He turns 47 years old today. And last but not least on my celebrity list, I got to say happy birthday to... My man, Jeremiah. Jeremiah turns 31 years old today. So definitely, definitely happy birthday to those good people. Now, let me check out my Facebook list real quick and see what we got popping over here on Facebook. Oh, man, you know what? I got to say happy birthday to this guy. I had a pleasure working with this guy. Um, I used to manage a group called the Come Up Boys. So I got to say happy birthday to the one and only Mr. Booney C., a.k.a. Chris Benson. Man, my dude was a 
I'm not even going to say was A. My dude is a dope lyricist. Hopefully, he's definitely doing his thing and enjoying his day. So, happy birthday to my man, Booney C of the Come Up Boys. And I also got to say happy birthday to manager extraordinaire, Mr. Joe Blow. All right? Definitely, definitely, definitely doing his thing out there, making it happen. So, if you know my man, Joe Blow, or if you know my man, Booney C, definitely, definitely wish him a happy birthday. And tell them you heard us mention them on the Riding Dirty Show. And that will make me feel ever, ever so, so good. And I'm sure it'll make their day as well. All right? All right. Definitely, definitely do that. All right. Now, gave you a little news. Gave you a little birthdays. And, uh, oh, no. Let me give you some news. I gave you our sponsors. Man, it seems like the more we try, the more we try... To not talk about my man Takashi 69 He keeps coming up in the world of hip-hop. Now, it seems as if now even more people are speaking out against him. My man, legendary MC out of the West Coast, Mitchie Slick, has had some choice words to say about my man 6ix9ine. And um, hopefully, you know, hopefully 6ix9ine, after he finishes turning himself in, he'll he'll calm down, man, because he's just really, really starting to get on my nerves. Okay? Starting to get on my nerves. I don't know about you guys. All right. Also, man, my man Chance the Rapper is planning to release a new album this week. He just announced he's engaged, and he got a brand new album coming out, and it'll probably drop Friday. So good luck to Chance. Hip-hop is definitely dominating the charts, and um, hopefully Chance will do the same. All right? Uh, my man Wale definitely was doing his thing in last night celebrity softball game during the All-Star Week. Um, but he's also recovering from a car accident over the weekend. So, man, Wale, I see you make a spectacular catch down the first baseline, and hopefully you're healing up very, very well from your car accident. All right? And being Wale is one of my favorite MCs. Get better, Wale. Get better, get better, get better. All right? So we don't have a lot of hip-hop news. That's it for today as far as hip-hop news. But you know what? Don't fret because... In the time that I normally talk about hip-hop news, I'm going to bring y'all an exciting guest. I'm very, very excited to talk to these two. Um, we're going to be talking something near and dear to my heart, that cannabis. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, with no further delay, I'd like to welcome to the show Miss Tara and Mr. Tom of Plant Alchemy. How are you guys doing today? We're doing great, Vic. Awesome. I'm busting a move here from your intro. You ain't busting no move, are you, Tar? <laughs> I, I couldn't help it, Vic. Your music was getting me going. It was great. That's that's the point of the of, of of that song. I've been playing that song for so long, but every guest I have says, "Man, that song gets me pumping." And then I jump in there going 100 miles an hour, and um, this I will always tell people like this is like the fastest 30 minutes I do in my day. I bet. That's excellent. All right, now, you know, you guys are, the first thing I got to say, because, you know, I definitely, definitely dibble and dabble, and, um, you know, we, we talk a lot about hip-hop, and cannabis is something a lot of hip-hop artists talk about, but you guys are also out of Canada. You're a Canadian-based company, and that so happens to be the home of the number one rapper in the world right now, Mr. Drake. Are either one of you guys familiar with Drake? Very familiar. Yes. Thanks to having a number of teenagers, I get a great lesson in the whole spectrum of everything, hip-hop and everywhere, EDM, everything. But hip-hop figures really prominently in my teenagers' lives. So, yeah, I'm getting educated all the time here. <laughs> okay. So, look, let's start this off. Before we even get into you guys' company, Plant Alchemy, Tara, I want to start with you. Tell me a little bit about yourself and what makes you – as I like to call it, a cannabis expert. And then, Tom, I'm going to give you the floor to tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, in terms of my history with cannabis, it has really come into the sphere of my life because of mental and physical health matters. Um, I was first diagnosed uh, as a teenager with depression and anxiety, and I've lived with those um, all through my life. 
And I've been through a lot of different treatment paths um, for, the, for about 25 years, you know, looking through cognitive based therapy with psychotherapists, psychiatrists, social workers, the whole gamut, and um, dappled with a number of different pharmaceuticals because of doctor recommendations. But ultimately, those approaches to therapy weren't really working for me. Um, but it's been over approximately the last six years or so um, that I've really come into knowing what cannabis can do for me in my life for both my mental and physical health. Um, and I'm really passionate about teaching people about it now because I have a background of a couple of decades uh, teaching formal education and the healing arts. So my passion for cannabis and my love for teaching are really coming together right now. All right. Um, what was your, if you can say, what was your, right, um, what was your, what was your first introduction to cannabis? Introduction to cannabis. Yeah, actually, um, that came to us with uh, family members. My brother, Michael, battled a great number of years with ALS. Um, and I had an uncle who dealt with cancer twice in his lifetime and beat it. Uh, and both of them were using cannabis for different reasons uh, and had great relief and great benefits from it. Um, so it taught us a great deal about the healing powers of the plant. And that's really what our introduction was. And Tom was really the one to be very passionately uh, reading everything that he could about the types of plants that were out there, um, the applications for them. And together we were really there to serve our family members as best we could. And ultimately then that kind of just flowed into our lives. And like I say, for myself, it was mental and physical health reasons. And uh, beyond that, though, really, cannabis, there, there probably isn't an area in our lives that it hasn't touched for the betterment, um, including our relationship. So you mean to tell me cannabis has so helped improve your relationship? relationship? Absolutely. I'm Vouching for that 100%. All right. Tom? Um, you know, really what that does is it opens up um, pathways for intimacy with us, you know. And, yes, that, that does have to do a lot with our physical intimacy. But, really, it goes deeper than that. It goes into the psychology of our intimacy and deeper connections and understanding each other's points of view and seeing each other's magnificence. All right, Tom, tell me a little bit about yourself, and then I want you to expound more on how cannabis has improved the relationship. Excellent. Yes. Well, I'll start with the fact that I'm actually an engineer by background. So my whole love of just analyzing things goes all over the place. And when I got introduced to cannabis, um, and started to realize just the amazing potential, the strains, the flavors, the terpenes, you know, everything that goes together, um, including, you know, the, everything to do with growing, which is its own art form. So the thing is that, you know, it, it really, I, I got to go back a bit to when I was a kid, I loved the woods and the outdoors. My family had a cottage up here in Halliburton. Uh, Ontario, beautiful wilderness, you know, just unspoiled. You know, ever since I remember, I always enjoyed the natural world and just being in nature. And, you know, that ended up just being kind of part of me that took to the whole idea of enjoying cannabis, understanding it, knowing how to grow it, and going from there. But to get to the other part of the question about how it has improved our relationship, well, one thing I have found is there's two levels of connection. You know, there's the mental, emotional, and then there's the physical. And the mental, emotional, with certain types of strains, um, one of our favorites is Northern Lights, we have the most amazing conversations, you know, expansive, uh, you know, excited conversations about, you know, our lives, our personal lives, or our business. Because we work together, you know, it'll just, ideas will flow into every part of our, our livelihood. So, and from that part, too, um, I have a little story to tell, because with our relationship, when we first got together, um, 
we had our first cannabis together that was actually grown by Tara's grandmother. <laughs> and it was damn good stuff. Whoa. <laughs> she actually called it Granny's Gold, and let's just say it brought us good fortune. <laughs> Granny's Gold. <laughs> That's crazy. Indeed. <laughs> That's crazy. So look, what motivated you guys to actually start Plant Alchemy? Um, well, actually, that was during one of my morning meditations. I'm a, a commuter from uh, the greater Toronto area right to downtown. And I got a lightning bolt of ideas. Um, I had to open up my phone immediately and start taking the notes down. And really what was flooding for me was this combination of the healing arts, um, mindfulness and meditation, and the use of cannabis together. And I realized that um, I had been doing that with great success for a number of years. And it was bringing such immense joy and um, abundance in a lot of areas in my life. And I, I really was passionate about sharing that. So I came home and, and told Tom about the ideas of, of blending cannabis and mindfulness together. And when we were talking about it, it was really resonating with him. So ultimately, when we were talking about branding this venture, we realized that cannabis is just the start of plant medicines that we're hoping to educate people on as our, community, as our company unfolds. And so we decided to call it uh, Plant Alchemy. Okay. All right. Um, in this, in these courses that you guys give, who do you feel like the courses should target or who should be interested in you guys' courses? Well, interesting because, you know, obviously the very, uh, first thing that comes to mind is the cannabis user, anyone who currently consumes cannabis, but at the same time, our course is designed for anyone who's even thinking about getting into cannabis. You know, there's all sorts of stages. I think of, you know, people enjoying cannabis. There's those who have done it for a while. They love it. Others who maybe have had like a, a crappy uh, experience and they don't want to go back to it or they're not sure, you know, we want to take everyone, no matter what their level of experience and have them enjoy the course because really a majority of the course is about mindfulness itself and just how to get the most out of life, out of your relationships, out of just the pure enjoyment of things that you do love. And we're introducing cannabis as kind of an amplifier to that. So yeah, we just, uh, we really want to be able to have people also feel comfortable about cannabis. Say you have a loved one who's got a medical diagnosis and they've been able to get a cannabis license. But you know, so in some cases we like to even encourage people to say, hey, I wanna learn more for the sake of, you know, my partner, my loved one. So the examples go on and on like that. Anyone, anyone who's interested in cannabis, <laughs> because we're going to teach a lot of, you know, interesting things about the plant, about terpenes, just getting to know what strains are best for what, and, you know, very practical down to earth stuff. All right. So I'm going to go backwards a little bit. When you, when you guys had a chance to experience Granny's Gold, was it at that point? Yeah, yeah. Was it at that point you guys said, "Hey, number one, this is something we enjoy, but number two, this is something we need to educate people on." Or did it take a while for you guys to start gathering information and learning more about it? Then you want to educate. Well, it did take us a little while to get to the point where we really started to to structure. A program and an idea but just again going back to the granny's gold era um, I was just being introduced to yoga and meditation through a studio that Tara owned uh, just outside of Toronto so having sampled granny's gold having really started my proper cannabis experience in my lifetime I mean I had some junk real ditch weed in the past but you know this was also the start of us really just sitting up and taking notice like you would a great scotch or a fine wine and going, no, 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 this is what I want to spend my time enjoying. <laughs> yeah, and I think that that's a really important point, too, that um, if part of our message is 
Um, well, the, the name of our course is Cultivating a, a Mindful Relationship to Cannabis. And it's, it is a relationship that you're developing. You know, where you are um, getting your product from, um, what the backstory is there, it's, it's really important. And your intention to um, blending with the plant, you're welcoming it into your body. It has a, a physical and chemical reaction and a, and a mental reaction there. Um, so it should be a, a purposeful one. And um, way back with Granny's goal, yes, it, it set alight a lot of magic for us. Uh, as Tom said, it wasn't it wasn't just your typical weed from someone that you didn't really know where you were getting it from. It was organically grown and cared for and given with love. And um, full disclosure, that was our very first date, and we also did fall in love that night. <laughs> that's that's insane. That's insane. So, would you prefer to have would you have, prefer to have people to take your class there or? indulging in cannabis recreational or do you prefer people who need it on the medicinal side like what's your preference when it comes to teaching your course actually it's i it's both of those and the reason that we want both people you know people who are recreational or medical to join the course is Number one, it benefits you. I mean, even if you're using it recreationally, you're still technically then taking in a plant medicine into your body. So why not learn what the best things are? You know, you've, you've got a headache rather than grabbing for some, you know, acetaminophen or other stuff like that. There are some strains, you know, that will, that will really help a headache. Um, you know, we have a, we have a literally like a, a Bible. It's 700 pages of medical information that, is all about hundreds and hundreds of studies. And it's amazing to see how many, uh, these are all cannabis-based health studies, uh, it is an incredible amount of information that's already been accrued. So, you know, medical people can benefit, but people doing it recreationally can just get a little bit more insight and, again, tailor the experience for the best outcome for themselves. And the time is right for the picking right now. I mean, um, as your listeners may know, uh, full legal Cannabis consumption is happening here October 17th uh, of this year up in Canada, and um, it's becoming more uh, widely legalized across the states, certainly for medical purposes and um, hopefully for recreational use too. But it's even more important than that people are in fact developing an intentional connection to the cannabis because, you know, we want to stay away from the potential of a complete stoner culture. There is a backstory and, and counterculture to cannabis that just vilified the plant for so long, and there's no need to go deeper into that. Um, in fact, you know, as Tom was saying, whether you're a medical consumer or a recreational consumer, there really is purpose to it. And even those that are taking it recreationally, oftentimes it's for social interactions as well. And I found myself. Um, certainly with the use of, of cannabis, being able to go out and engage in, in social activities with much more freedom and um, enjoyment to be able to talk to people instead of shy away from them. Um, having interesting conversations, creative problem solving, you know, non-harmful conflict resolution, and, and really being able to understand the intricacies of relationships. So, this, although recreational can have the image sometimes of just going out and being with nature, yes, that is one way to connect and a very important one, but it goes much deeper than that too. So we definitely are looking to be um, talking to and, and teaching people both medically and recreational usage. All right. So let's talk about your eight-week course. Can you break down? All right. Can you break down? each week what a person can expect to experience? Yes. Um, in fact, uh, we'll get ball rolling and then uh, Tara will, will take over too. But uh, even um, there's, there's actually an extra week that starts the whole thing off that uh, is uh, just sort of like an um, introduction to it all called uh, coming out from the underground. Again, the, the whole idea that, you know, we just don't want this stuff stigmatized. There's no reason uh, for it to be treated like any kind of poison or anything like, you know, uh, that, that's the amount of misinformation that's spread over the past decades. But 
You know, so we're starting with that to kind of just bring everyone up to speed on things and a little historical perspective. And then the eight weeks that we're doing, we're going to be looking at all kinds of different things. We're going to start with, again, you know, just a little bit of lessons about the plant, uh, things about terpenes, CBDs, THCs, and just what, again, the latest research that is out there, we're trying to bring this to the table so that people are able to make, you know, best informed decisions they can. It's complicated. There's so much stuff out there that, you know, we really want to try and distill it. But the key thing, too, is that each week isn't just about uh, a whole bunch of subject matter. The whole layer of mindfulness is giving us sort of the, the, it gave us the whole framework with which to set things up to start with an intention for each week. Yeah, so um, blended with mindfulness practices is really where we're going to get into the sweet spot of what cannabis can do for us. And um, perhaps your listeners are familiar with uh, mindfulness-based stress reduction practices, um, which come from a deep-seated meditation and observation place. And so we plan on doing things like a, a body scan and really observing how cannabis interacts with the body, noticing the breath and what it does for that. I mean, that's the tool, the free tool that is with us at all times for all situations in life. And it's so important we don't give it enough focus. Um, looking also at uh, how it interacts with our mental health. So it's really about the uh, medical approach for the first four weeks. But then it transitions more into that area that we were talking about with everything under the compass of recreational. Uh, we look at creative aspects, um, not just creative problem solving, but actual creative pursuits uh, and inviting in a few exercises about that. Then we look at connection with ourselves and sort of mindfully looking at our habits. Um, one of the opportunities that participants in the course will have is to keep a log in a journal, you know, what strains they're having, what time of the day, what the effects are, um, and how often that's happening, and really uh, writing reflective journal responses on that as well, so that they can go back and, and have a, a historical perspective of what their relationship to cannabis has had. And then we round off the course by looking at um, how cannabis uh, has a place in our relationships, yes, intimate relationships, but also looking at um, being able to get out of your default mode network in your brain with how you are, you know, those um, circular sticky points in relationships with family members or coworkers, and how you can move beyond that. Uh, and finally, going into responsibility, so how to keep blending mindfulness and cannabis use instead of just blindfully going into um, unconscious habits every day, continuing to keep up that mindful approach and building that relationship to cannabis, and that's really where, where the course culminates. Okay. All right. So, look, I know you guys are also looking for uh, beta testers. How does that work? Um, 90 okay. seconds. Well, yes, because in order to just fine-tune our course to the best of our abilities, we are running the very first version of it basically for free. We uh, are going to select 100 uh, participants. Um, so the easiest way to do it is go to the website and uh, plantalchemy.ca and basically you'll see buttons on the front page and further down that'll take you to 60 a sign -up. seconds and what we're doing is we're collecting uh people's information and we're going to draw for 100 names the course itself when it gets underway is going to be 420 dollars so it's uh it's a good value right now and we just ask for people's feedback and participation all right it would be 420. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be anything else? <laughs> not 421, not 419, but 420. <laughs> you got to keep some traditional uh, connection in there. <laughs> I hate to say it, but that's like my password on a lot of things. I just gave out some information I probably shouldn't, but those are like my favorite numbers. All right, so once, the, once your beta test is done, when do you guys expect Second. to launch? 
Yeah, so we're, we're on target for a January 2019 launch. So um, if for any reason folks uh, aren't able to sign up for the beta test happening from September to uh, the end of November, um, they can still sign up to get our newsletter and stay informed, and we'll make sure that they have a place for the official launch in January. All right. So our 30 minutes is about up. But before I ask you to close it out, I do want to ask one question, and I want both of you guys to give <coughs> separate answers. What do you feel like is the biggest misconception when it comes to cannabis? Hmm. For myself, I think the biggest misconception is that, um, you know, you just become a complete stoner or a couch potato or withdrawn from life. Uh, and for me, the perspective is 180 degrees from there because cannabis has opened doors in my life that have had me be more engaged, more engaged with my business pursuits, more engaged with my teaching positions, more engaged in my relationships with nature um, and self-care and self-love and self-acceptance. So for me, the misconception is that it takes you out of being engaged in life when really, for, for me, it takes you further into engagement. How about you, Tom? Well, I think the biggest thing that has always irked me is that marijuana weed pot you know whatever whatever name people have given it there's been some good names been some lousy names but the fact that it's called a drug you know puts it on par with something that could kill you or uh you know it, it just it, it suggests horrific outcomes when you know it's, it's exactly the opposite you know we've known so many people to use it as a medicine you know not just a drug so yeah that the, the misconception i i i'd like to think of it help people think of it more as a medicine than just a drug. It, you know what? Because it is 100% wrong to mention cannabis and crack in the same sentence. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take your word for that. But yes, exactly. To mix it, we don't know. But to put it in the same sentence entirely a sin. Yes. Yeah. Like, they're, they're, it's opposite ends of the spectrum, but you want to call both of them drugs. Come on, man. It's not right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, and one indicates that, you know, it needs to be regulated by enforcement and or that, you know, someone, someone of authority needs to tell you that you can have it. Um, when cannabis, for me, being a plant of the earth is something that we have a natural birthright to. It is here and it's for us to learn from and to, again, form a mindful relationship with. All right. So, Tom. So, Tar, in closing, I want one of you guys to let the people know how to find you guys, whether it's social media, the website, and I want the other to let people know about how to sign up to be a beta tester, um, about when to expect the launch, and anything else we need to know. Okay, so we can be found on the web at Plant Alchemy. .ca because we're a Canadian company, eh? Um, our, you can find us on Twitter as well. We are on Twitter. Uh, our actual Twitter handle is uh, healing underscore plants. But uh, if you search just for our title plant alchemy, we're there. And then on Facebook, uh, we are on Facebook as well. So if you want to get onto that, our page, hang on, just reminding myself here. <laughs> so it's facebook.com forward slash plant dot alchemy dot Canada. Okay. And in terms of being uh, one of our beta testers, yeah, people can go to our website, plantalchemy.ca, and they'll find a button to uh, take them right through to just putting in their uh, name, first name, last name, and email. Um, to sign up to be a beta, and then there's a, a short 10-question uh, quiz so that we can get some baseline uh, information on folks. Um, and if they can't make it for the beta, which starts in September, and it will run Thursday night uh, for eight weeks from late September to late November, and if they can't be a beta tester, then join us in January, uh, Jim. 
third week of January is when we'll be starting the official course for the 420. Okay. So look, I definitely thank you guys for coming on. Um, I need you guys to do me one favor. Absolutely. I need you guys to set up a Instagram for Plant Alchemy and drop oh. cannabis tips, you know, periodically during the week. Because I'm sure you guys can offer information that will lead people to your course, especially via pictures and Instagram as well. I think the Twitter is dope. I'm on your Facebook page right now. But I need a cannabis call today. Okay. Excellent. Well, then uh, we're going to get that Instagram going, too. We're on it. And I'm going to be inboxing you guys because I definitely want to be part of you guys' revolu uh, revolution and what you got going on. And I'm, I'm going to inbox you guys and let you know, you know what I can attempt to do to help you guys cause, okay? We really appreciate it, Vic. Fantastic. It's this been a pleasure. It's been a blast. Really had some fun here today. All right, now, who's going to sing Old Canada before we leave? <laughs> um, they're, they're busy rewriting the lyrics in Parliament, apparently. Trying to make it more gender neutral. So I, I don't even know what the lyrics are. Anymore. All right, no, I was just, <laughs> My I was just joking. My Gordon Downey would have sung the best uh, rendition of O Canada. <laughs> all right, Tom. All right, Tar. You guys have a wonderful night. I look forward to talking to you guys again. And um, I'm going to put my name in here to see if I can be a beta tester. But I definitely plan on working with you guys, okay? Amazing. Beautiful. Thanks so much, Vic. All right. Bye for now. Have Enjoy a wonderful night. night. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that was Tara and Tom of Plant Alchemy. Definitely, definitely going to give you guys some mindful insight when it comes to relationships with cannabis. It's a strong eight-week Online interactive program, man, you need to get your studies up, get your schooling on, get your education on when it comes to cannabis. When it's, whether it's recreational, whether it's medicinal, you need to know what you need to know. Don't just be running around out here not having no knowledge. All right? This is your boy, Vic XL. This is the Ryan Dirty Show, the Ryan Dirty Podcast. Bring it to you like only we can bring it, and we'll be back tomorrow with another exciting guest. All right? Peace, love, and we out.